Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. I recently bought this $75 Airsoft ACOG scope on eBay. The idea was to mount this on a 12 gauge shotgun, not even an Airsoft shotgun, but a real shotgun, and fire some very powerful slugs through it and see if this thing will stay on zero or break into a bunch of pieces and be a total failure. Now I received the package less than a week after I bought it. It's not really marked with anything, it's kind of a generic looking box and inside there's uh, some instructions. Not much information in there about the scope, just simple instructions. Uh, packaging seems to be pretty good. Now I kind of expected to get something like a glorified Happy Meal, something made out of plastic and you know, that's junk, you know, but this thing is uh, forged aluminum. It's very solid. There's like very, very little plastic on it. Just the fiber optic tube is what's plastic. Of course, I took it apart. Uh, we can see that it is waterproof. There's an O-ring and O-ring grease on that thing. The lens is actually very sophisticated. It's a prism. That's how you get your four times uh, magnification. And it's extremely complex. Uh, everything inside appears to be solid. So, do you think this thing will survive a 12 gauge shotgun? Have you ever seen an ACOG mounted on a 12 gauge shotgun before, Danny? No, not yet. You still haven't because that's a ACOG clone that I bought on eBay for $75, including shipping. Wow. Let's see if uh, let's see if the the uh, the imitation is as good as the real thing. Yeah, I think you you could actually mount a real ACOG on a shotgun, and it's going to handle the the you know the shock and everything. Yeah. But this thing, who knows? You know, it's built well. It is built well. It's good, solid. It's not plastic. We'll see if it stands up to the 12 gauge thump. Yep, we'll, we'll put some good heavy slugs through it. The DGS uh, Dangerous Game Slug 12, uh, 32 gram monsters, you know, for shooting bear and stuff like that. That's oh. Maybe I should have brought a, a pee pad for this. <laughs> We haven't we haven't adjusted it at all yet, so we're gonna we're gonna take a few shots and see just where we need to adjust it at. It's probably way off. Yeah. Into what kind of shotgun are you wear, you using uh, today? This is a Mossberg 500 with a fully rifled barrel. We've never shot these slugs out of a fully rifled barrel, but they perform fantastic through a smooth bore. Danny is lazing it out right now, measuring it out, just so we could sight this bad boy in okay right now it shows it at 23 yards from uh, my eye okay Like a little was, closer uh, in the neighborhood. That was almost there. As you can see, there's it tells you right, but it doesn't tell you which direction. Usually you'll have a right with an arrow. If you want to go right, it points in the arrow. So we're trying to figure out, are we supposed to turn this thing clockwise or counterclockwise to make it right? Why they couldn't have put an arrow on there, I don't know. Very odd. There you go. Is it on now? You're in the red. Okay. There you go. As you can see, it takes a while to sight in a scope. Even a ch cheap Chinese or wherever this scope was made, because it doesn't say where it was made. Um, and we're having problems with the 
those Gwalandi slugs, maybe the powder load, you know, I used a ballistic product powder load for these things. Don't, not sure what's going on, but the, the wadding and the, the, the slug is separating. But uh, Danny's shot was very close to my shot, close to the uh, red circle there. And we're not sure which hole is the wad, which hole is the slug. Probably the the rent. Well, the, the wadding seems to be hitting sideways this sometimes. One, but this one looks like it tore. Maybe the wad hit sideways. Yeah, that's here. what I'm thinking. Nice clean hole here was likely the slug. Yeah. But we're, we're just using these to sight it in. All right. Since we got the uh, DGS slugs, the heavy thumpers, <laughs> pretty well sighted in. We're going to try some of these Federal Premium True Ball rifled slugs. It's a uh, three inch, one ounce slug. Muzzle velocity is 1,700 feet per second. We don't have to worry about the waddings separating on these. So no. we got it kind of sighted in right now. So we'll see where these land. These will be a little more precise. Shot through a rifled barrel even, you know? Yeah. Okay, it's so a little to the left. Okay, two different shooters, same, pretty much same results. About uh, maybe one inch. Yeah, That's... and that, that could have been a little bit of movement on my part. Okay. That's consistent. Yeah. Danny's second shot landed pretty much on top of his first shot. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. One of these was after he made the adjustment. Another wadding hit the circle. <laughs> um, we'll go 10 was, clicks or something. Yeah, that was only four clicks just to see how much it's actually moving at 23 yards. And then, and then once once we get it kind of sight in at, at this short range here, uh, then we can move this back to 50 yards and see how, where the heck they're landing if we have enough the slugs left over. <laughs> The wads are accurate. Yeah, the accurate wads. <laughs> it's not off by much, though. I mean, and the grouping's not bad. I mean, I don't think. Uh, no, I don't think the internals of the of the scope are j getting jarred around. The scope seems to be holding up. And yeah. A little bit of variation is probably human error. Yeah. But it's uh, rather consistent there. Yeah. Ouch. Got it. Got it. I believe we're on the. Uh, you're on the paper, right? Just to the right of the it, sticker. I believe. Okay. So I'm going to take that back two clicks. Okay. Ouch. Okay, now, now that we've got it kind of sided in with these slugs, these uh, True Ball Foster slugs, we move the target back to 50 yards. We'll take a few shots see where our grouping is and if it if it maintains consistency what can you what else can you say than that that that's $75 scope actually holds zero you know that which so far it's kind of surprised me that looks like it Okay, how well does a seventy-five dollar ACOG clone work? Does it hold, can it hold zero? Apparently, it does. It seems to be holding consistent. Two yeah. different shooters. Uh, this was a, we'll call that a flyer. Yeah. Uh, my first two were here. Jeff's was here and here. 
Yeah, I overlapped his his shot. This one here is two two slugs through one, basically one. Two mark. different shooters, so that tells you a whole lot there, you know. So why spend six seven hundred dollars on the optics? Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars when you can get it for sixty or seventy. Seventy five with shipping. Seventy five with shipping. Yeah, there you go. not bad. I'm, I'm, it's a blank. I, I'm pretty darn impressed. I think we're out of slugs now, aren't we? <laughs> that, that's at 50 yards. 50 yards. Not not a bad group. No, if, I, I'd be happy with that. It's not a good group if you're, if you're shooting a rifle, shotguns, uh, foster slugs, that's pretty good. Very good. Well, uh, <laughs> what, are, what, are, what are our thoughts about this thing? Well, I'm impressed with the, uh, with the optics. Uh, it seems to hold zero. Uh, you can see from our shooting there with the uh, DGS, the ga dangerous game slug, and uh, the true ball. Both very on the higher, both, more both on the high power. A lot of recoil going. You know, we were picking so, stuff that had a lot of recoil. Yeah, it was, we were either going to make it or break it, mm -hmm. and it seems like this uh, optics made it. Uh, you can see with our with our target there and uh, it's, it's rather consistent and that's with two different shooters and uh, at 50 yards I'm impressed with it yeah I am too uh, that would be a good uh, a, if if you want to buy your kid a scope for his 22 that'd be an awesome oh, scope yeah. he would love you for that yeah. um, uh, but you know on your AR it'd be a perfect for an AR oh yeah I think you could dial that sucker in and, and get yeah. shots, very good shots, you know, 300 yards with that. For, I, shot, for I, shotgun maybe. At, for shotgun at 50 yards, that's pretty dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice, uh, nice clear optics and yeah. uh, really bright fiber optic illumination. It's almost too bright, you know, in this direct, in this sunlight. Yeah. And you can't adjust that, you can't adjust, you know, I have I have an issue with the not having a little arrow to on the uh, turret adjustments <laughs> just to tell which yeah. way you're supposed to be turning. You know, we, it took us a while to figure it out, but uh, that's well, you know that's a minor minor complaint for yeah. something so cheap. Good long fiber optics for light gathering here. So that you and you could cover most of that up with your hand, and it'll still be bright. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you could play with it a bit and uh, tone it down, but yeah, if you wanted it, if it is too bright, you could always. But even at that brightness, you can still see the elevation marks on the. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's hard to believe that is a seventy-five dollar scope, yeah. which with free shipping. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you That's know, always a plus. I, I might order another one. Uh, before, because as soon as. Yeah, you know, as soon as I post this, this guy's gonna sell out of these things. I bet. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I trying to promote them. I don't know the guy. No, I don't either. I have no idea. This is the first time I've seen it or knew anything about it, and uh, I am impressed with it. Yeah. I like the fact it doesn't take batteries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so easy to forget to turn the, your red dot off and drain the battery off. You go out the next time. Oh, you know your day's shot because you don't have a spare battery. Yeah. I mean, we could have tried to shoot a hundred yards and. And this is a plain old Mossberg. There's no fancy trigger system in it or anything. That's it's true. All, yeah. It's all stock except for rifle barrel. Yep. Well, there you go, folks. What do you, tell us what you think in the comments. Is this something you might want to buy? Yeah. <laughs> Hurry and buy it. Thumbs up, subscribe, and like. Oh, no, don't do that. Everyone will do the opposite. They're rebellious on YouTube. Ah, haters are going to hate. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, thank you. This video is sponsored by FancyToolPicks.com, the interweb's favorite toothpick. Now available in red.